Hi guys and welcome to this Divi WordPress theme tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. Well, a few videos ago, we sort of created this section with hover backgrounds here. And what we're going to do today is I had a static sec section here and we've put a video background behind it with a color overlay or a color hover overlay, I should say. This is really easy to do, and we're going to be using a, a free plugin today, another free plugin today to do this, and I'll show you exactly how to do it. So the plugin that we're actually using today is called Divi Section Enhancer, and if you just go to your Add New, search Divi Section. It'll come up right there and I've already got mine activated. So you'd have to activate yours and it's got several features. Um, we're using the free ones today. There's a pro version with some extra features. But like I say, we're just using the free one today. So, of course, you can go to their. Uh, website and download it. You can download it from their page also. And I'll put this link below the video as well. And it tells you about it. It's got a little installation. Nothing to it. It's like any other plugin. Just go ahead and install it, activate it, and away you go. So let's get started with this. Let's just go to an, another page. And I've got another page like this and we'll make a static section into this video background here. So here's a page we started off with with those sort of hover effects. Let's grab this one here and put a video behind it. So again, I'm going to be doing everything on the front end today with the visual builder. Divi's absolutely awesome. The visual builder makes life so simple. If you're building any sort of site with WordPress, I do suggest you check out Divi. And you can take it from a test run from my affiliate link below this video if you want to try it. OK, so we've got that plugin installed. Now let's go to a section. And make a background. So here's the section. The blue is the section. The green. Is the columns and row. And the black is the actual module within the column, which is the writing there. So we go to our section cog here and click on it. Once you've got your plugin installed, you know, you just don't see it anywhere. You have to go over to advanced on the section tab. Go down to custom CSS. Now you want to scroll down a bit. There it is. Divi section enhancer. And it gives you some options. One we're going to use is YouTube background. We've got a scroll bar section if you want to put a scroll bar, a tilt effect, sidebar off canvas, and the ones with only pro stacks, tiled sections, particles background, water pipe background. You might want to look at the, some of these on their site. They're they're pretty cool looking. But anything that says only pro is obviously only available in the pro. So let's go ahead and select a YouTube background for our use today. Now it says activate YouTube background on this section. You want to make a note just underneath most of these fields. It says this option is not previewable in the visual builder, which means you're not going to see these effects happening until you save and preview after exiting the visual builder. So I'm going to go ahead and activate. Yes. Now, all you need to do is, is take the video ID and that's just the last characters, not the whole URL, just the ID. So let's go to YouTube. And I've got one here. And if you look up in the top there, you'll see the whole URL. And after V equals video equals, it's this last section on the end there. So I'm going to highlight that copy control C. Go back to the site and paste that in here. 
Now, activate sound. It's up to you. If you want the sound to be running, leave that as yes. I personally don't. Now, Divi will let you put videos behind sections, but only local videos. So you have to upload them to your server. There's no sort of YouTube option there. You can make a full width section and do it that way, but not on a regular section. So I don't want sound. Repeat video, yeah, if you want to loop. Aspect ratio, 16 to 9 is fine. Uh, the other option is 4 to 3, but I'm going to leave mine at 16 to 9. Video width, again, I'm going to use adaptive. The other option is the regular video width, I believe, default width. Yeah, I'm going to use adaptive, which is recommended. And again, note these aren't, you won't see these changes on the visual builder. Parallax effect, no, I don't think I want that. So when we scroll down the video, we'll move at a different rate. Now hide the top. This is the amount from the top of the video that you want to hide. For instance, if I put that video behind it now, we'd just be seeing this bottom section right here. Or actually, no, we'd just be seeing the top section right here. So I want to come down a bit. So we've got most of our video here. So I'm going to say minus 400 picks. I'll say minus 450 and try that. You can always adjust it afterwards, it's no problem. So I'm going to say minus 450. Start time. Now, a lot of YouTube videos have got a commercial or an advert of some sort at the start, or they've got credits and stuff like that. So you can choose where to start it. But you've got to do it in seconds. So for instance, 10 minutes would be 600 seconds. So I think I want to just have a preview through, decide where you want to start it. Yeah, the sort of 15 minute mark's good. It's the sort of darker backgrounds there. So if 10 minutes is 600, then 15 minutes would be 900 seconds. What does it go up to? It goes up to 20. So we'll do 900 to 1200. How's that sound? Start time, 900 seconds. And end time, 1200 seconds. That's it. So let's just save our changes right there. And save our changes and exit the visual builder. Once we exit the visual builder, that video will appear behind this section. And I'm going to want to make a few tweaks. So let's exit the visual builder. And if I scroll up, as you can see, that video is playing there behind there. Now the previous hover effect that I've got going on that section is still working. I want to kind of tweak that a little bit. And of course, as the writing's dark, it doesn't stand out very well. So let's tweak the background overlay settings and also the writing, which is the writing is our module here. And for the background overlay, that's on our background. Let's enable the visual builder again. down to our section background here's what I had at the hover background section basically on the first bit default I don't want anything so we can take that away on the hover let's make that black rather than green that's fine now our writing wasn't standing out at all so I want to go in there to the module to the cog I want to go to the design tab to the text click on it scroll down I want to make that text light text color light 
There we go. And we can't see it because it's white on white there. Actually, while we're in there, let's give it a bit of just a little box shadow around it. It'll help it to stand out a little bit more. And we should be able to see it as well on our background here. Okay. Now let's take that color down, make it a little bit darker so it's sharper. The right hand side of here is the opacity or opacity. So I'm going to slide that up so it's pretty much black. There we go. That'll help it on top of the video as well. So we've changed those now. Let's save. Save our visual builder changes. Once saved, exit the visual builder. Bring that up so we can see it. There we have it. There's our video background and our, our writing's a lot more readable now. If I hover over it, sort of darkens up. So that's quite effective. Very easy to put in there. Like I say, that's a free plugin. Divi Section Enhancer. So take it for a spin. If you're building with Divi, it's free. And that's a pretty effective little section you've got going on there. And what did that take? Five minutes? So there you have it, guys. There's how to put, how to put a video background behind your sections using a free plugin. I hope you found that useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll be do, doing a lot more with plugins. If you're interested in web development, take a look down below. We've got some great free courses down there as well as some premium courses with some huge discounts for our YouTube subscribers. So do check it out. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.